elegant, proud and wise. The toy poodle is a very impressive dog. Poodles are recognized as one of the intelligent dog breed in the world. They are easily trained and well suited for just any task you put them through. Poodles when bored can get destructive if they are not physically and mentally stimulated. However, active dog owners who can fit their dog needs will find a smart, trainable and loving family companion. In today's video, we will talk on everything you need to know on the toy poodle dog. But before we engage in the video, if you would love a simple dog training strategy that will develop your dog hidden intelligence and create the obedient, well-behaved pet of your dreams, then click the link in the description to get access to the strategy that will reveal how you can quickly eliminate all bad behavioral problems. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in getting useful tips and guides about your dogs and cats that will make you be a better pet owner. Let's dive in. History of the Toy Poodle Toy Poodles are one of the oldest breeds of dogs which was developed particularly for the hunting of waterfowl. Tracing its origin to Germany, the Toy Poodle developed into its own distinct breed in France. It is believed by many that the Poodle breed is as a result of crosses between many European water dogs including French, Russian, German, Hungarian, Spanish, and Portuguese water dogs. Other historians believe that the Toy Poodle ancestor is the North African Barbet, which was imported to Liberian Peninsula. Later on, the breed arrived in Gaul, where his hunting abilities were utilized. They are also said to have descended from Asian herding dogs and traveled with the Germanic Goth and Ostrogoth tribes to eventually become a German water dog. Another believes that the poodle descended from dogs brought out of the Asian steppes by conquering the North African Berbers and later found his way into Portugal in the 8th century with the Moors. The miniature and the toy poodle emerged briefly after the standard. Many believe that it was not until the 1400 that breeders began breeding smaller version of the poodle. First, it was the miniature then the toy poodle. These two breeds were produced by breeding small poodles to each other and not by breeding poodles to smaller breeds. Toy Poodle Personality Toy Poodles are intelligent, loyal, loving and mischievous. These are four words in which owners of the Toy Poodle use to describe their pet dogs. Despite its regal appearance, the Toy Poodle had a goofy streak and is always ready to play, up for a game of any kind. They are also fond of people and eager to please. Combine all these with his legendary intelligence and you will get a dog that's very easy to train. A toy poodle who have been trained has a calm disposition, especially if he engages in regular exercises to burn off its natural energy. It is said that smaller poodles like the toy and miniature poodles are more high strung than the standard. However, most breeders disagreed with this theory. The poodle is very protective of his home and family, that if a stranger or visitor approaches your house, he'll start barking to let you know. Although he is affectionate towards his family, it takes time to warm up to new people. An outstanding characteristics of the poodle is his intelligence. He is often said to have human-like intelligence, an amazing cleverness, that amazes dog owners. And yeah, smart dogs can be difficult to live with, they tend to learn both good and bad habits fast and they remember everything. Size of the Toy Poodle They are three sizes of poodles. The Toy, the Miniature and the Standard. These aren't different breeds, but different sizes of the same dog. The Toy Poodle stands up 10 inches tall and weighs about 6 to 9 pounds. The Miniature Poodle stands 11 to 14 inches tall and has a weight of 15 to 17 pounds. The standard poodle weighs 45 to 70 pounds and has a height of 15 inches and taller. Health. Toy poodles are generally healthy, but like all breeds they are liable to certain health conditions. Not all poodles will get these diseases, but it is necessary to know if you're thinking of getting a poodle. If you are getting a poodle find a good breeder that will provide the health clearance for both parents. Coat color and grooming. Toy poodle is a dog that don't shed. So it is good and a preferable choice for individuals with allergies. Many people with allergy are capable of owning a poodle. The coat comes in different colors. They include blue, white, brown, and cream. It possesses curly hair and it is dense. The U unique texture it has makes trimming, clipping, and saving easily and possible. If your canine is competing in the show ring, 
however you can't go too wild with the styling. The American Canine Club allows only four clip styles for poodles in a competition. Grooming a poodle isn't for the weak and lazy. Although it doesn't shed much it still have require high maintenance. It is due for grooming after every three to six weeks to keep the coat in good condition. If you're considering a toy poodle consider the grooming expenses for a healthy coat. Don't be scared, though. There are many ways to style the cost for easy care. Or you can shave it off as many owners do so. They say, easy care doesn't mean without care. Even with the coat short it still need to be brushed, bathed and trimmed. Are you enjoying the video? Then please remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Let's move on. It is friendly with kids and other pets. Toy poodles are very friendly with kids. However, kids who doesn't know how to play with a dog can accidentally hurt it. You should teach your kids how to approach and play with a dog. Teach your child not to any dog while eating or sleeping or even try to take its food away. No dog, no matter how friendly it is, should be left unsupervised with a child. Toy poodles can grow up with other dogs or pets in the house, they don't mind. However, if your poodle is used to being the only pet in the house it may require some time and training to accept a newcomer. They need care. Toy poodles do fine in any kind of home, from apartments to estates, so long they have regular exercises and plenty human companionship. They prefer to live indoors with their family, since they have no trouble getting their yuyas out in the house. Because they are so intelligent, they can easily pick up bad habits, so owners should be careful in this aspect. You can also click the link in the description to get a simple dog training strategy that will develop your dog hidden intelligence and create the obedient well-behaved pet of your dreams. Feeding. Recommended daily amount of food for a toy poodle is one-fourth to a half cups. The quality of dog food also makes a difference. The better the dog food the further it will go towards nourishing your dog. Like any breed, the toy poodle will pack on weight if overfed, which can cause health conditions. Therefore you should limit treats, keep him active, and feed in meals instead of keeping food available at all times. Although, many owners of toy poodles feed their dog table scraps. You should learn to resist those pleading eyes, or you'll create a finicky eater. He will begin to turn his nose up at dog food which is more healthier for him. Keep your toy poodle in a good abs healthy state by measuring his food and feeding him twice a day, rather than leaving food out always. If you're not sure if he is overweight, give him an eye test and a hands-on test. First, look down at him, you should be able to see a waist. Then keep your hands on his back, thumbs along the spine and spread your fingers downward. You should be able to feel, but not see his ribs without having to press hard. If you enjoyed this video, and you would love to see similar videos like this, please give this video a like, and subscribe to the channel as we constantly bring you tips and guides that will make you a better pet owner.